This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, April 18th, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Yesterday afternoon, the Anne Arundel County Police Department got a call about shots being fired in the 1500 block of Annapolis Road in Odenton. Officers did respond to the area and did not find any victim or any signs of a shooting. About 20 minutes later, they got a call from Right Time Medical on Brander Mill Boulevard in the Walk Chapel Town Center for a gunshot victim that had showed up in their office. Police did respond. The victim is not cooperating or talking with the police at the time. He was transported with injuries that are believed to be not life-threatening. We will try to follow up on that and see what that was all about. If you were stuck in that four and a half mile back up on the Bay Bridge westbound yesterday afternoon, found out what that was. That was the Kent Island Volunteer Fire Department was responding to a person who was threatening to jump off of the bridge. All three westbound lanes were closed at about three o'clock and opened again at about 430. So that was about 90 minutes, causing nearly a five mile backup. The Anne Arundel County Fire Department was brought in to help them with a high-angle rescue, and the person that was threatening to jump was indeed rescued. So that is good news there. Sadly, up in Hanover, a 12-year-old girl died after being struck by a vehicle on Tuesday night. This happened on Clark Road near Linda Place at about 8 p.m., and the investigation shows that 12-year-old Juliana Forgrave of Hanover was crossing in the travel lane when a driver coming down the road did not see her and struck the pedestrian. The girl was transported to BWI Medical Center with life-threatening injuries and subsequently transferred to Johns Hopkins Pediatrics, where unfortunately she died from her injuries. According to police, the preliminary cause of the crash seems to be pedestrian error, and they do say that speed may have also contributed. However, the driver of the vehicle that struck her, Gregory Allen Spriggs, did remain at the scene, and there is no indication of any kind of drug or alcohol use there. So it sounds like just a really tragic accident up in Hanover. Thinking about getting married? I might have a deal for you. Now through April 30th, the Blackwall Barn and Lodge, which is sort of the Blackwall Hitch's cousin up in Gambrels, is accepting entries for a dream wedding package valued at, get this, $20,000. That package giveaway will include the venue, food, flowers, cake, entertainment, photography, and videography, all for you. All you need to do is create a 60-second video about why you should win. And once submitted, it will be up for public voting from May 6th through June 3rd. And the couple with the most votes will win the prize package. Purely simple, you could probably stuff the ballot box there a little bit. There is a catch. The wedding date has to be November 23rd of 2019. So you've got to be getting married pretty close. And I will say that is the Saturday before Thanksgiving. So holidays do play into factor there. But hey, for $20,000... The venue and food is going to be provided by Blackwall Barn and Lodge, flowers by Little House of Flowers, cake by Whipped Cakes of Annapolis, entertainment by C&J Entertainment, photography by Hamilton Photography, and videography by Abby Doodle Productions. Get all of your information and enter the contest at barnandlodge.com. And with spring here, it is about time to get on the water. And there was a question as to whether you could get on stand-up paddleboarding this year. At the end of the 2018 season, Capital SUP was homeless. They were looking for a new home. They had been at the South Annapolis Yacht Center for more than five years. And they really transformed the area into a bustling paddle center for the community and visiting paddlers alike. However, at the end of October, they were booted out because of the development that's going on. And they really didn't know where they were going to go. Enter the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park. Owners of Capital Sup, Chris Norman and Kevin Hages, had spoken with the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park, and they finally struck a deal to partner with their education center so they could continue their passion for getting people out on the water while educating them on the importance of restoration and clean water. The new location at the museum's Ellen O. Moyer Nature Park will be able to house all of their services. It's going to be located in the Old Boathouse, which is right near the border of the Berkshire Bend Yacht Yard. And they do have some work to do to get it in ship shape, but Haggis assures us that it will be open for business before the start of the paddling season. When we spoke with Haggis, he said the plan is to open Memorial Day weekend, or hopefully sooner if the weather cooperates. He did say the Capital Sup has a new program out, an unlimited paddling membership, along with a family plan and also five different tiers of paddling for 2019. So there is something for everybody of every age, and there are no more excuses 
for you not to get out on the water along Back Creek. Get more information on Capital Sup, the programs, the programs at Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park. You can get all that at capitalsup.com. That's capitalsup.com. All right, that is about it for the top news today. Please make sure you check out that first link in our show notes for all the different ways that you can connect with us. If you're someplace that you can give us a recommendation or a review, please do that. And of course, recommend us to your friends and family and colleagues. I would appreciate that. And of course, it is Thursday, so we have Trevor with your Annapolis Makerspace Maker Minutes. Now you just need to hang tight. We've got George Young with your local DMV weather forecast coming up in just a minute. But first, I need to tell you something about my favorite geeks from Saverna Park. MacMedics. Have you ever been to the Annapolis Mall when it opens for the day? Maybe you've noticed the line of folks waiting to get into the Apple Store. As you may know, I'm a Mac user, and today's episode of the Daily News Brief, in fact, all of the episodes of the Daily News Brief, have been produced right here on my Mac computer. What you might not know about is MacMedics. They were founded here in Annapolis in 1989, and they are an Apple-authorized premium service provider, the only one in the Baltimore, Annapolis, D.C. area. And what that means to you is that they repair all Apple devices, including the iPhone screens and batteries, all without an appointment. And most repairs are done the same day, usually within two hours. They also sell everything except the iPhone and the watch for the same price as Apple. I don't know why you would go anywhere else. Give them a call at 410-757-MACS, or if you're not into the whole letter thing, 410-757-6227. Stop by their retail store in Severna Park on Benfield Road, or their service center in Lanham, right off of Route 50. Or you can always check them out online at macmedics.com. I'll tell you, they've saved me quite a few times, and I know they can save you. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, April 18th. Annapolis and all of Anne Arundel County saw another nice weather day yesterday with dry skies and temps in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And today will be even better as breezy south-southwest winds bring in warmer air from the deep south, helping to push high temps today up to the 75 to 80 degree range with some spots on the map possibly seeing readings between 80 and 85. Then clouds will start to move into the area tomorrow as another storm system approaches from the southwest with the expectation being for p.m. rain and storms in the region, some of which could be severe. And then skies are expected to clear Saturday, but windy conditions will likely be in place for much of Saturday with wind gusts between 20 and 40 miles per hour before skies then finally settle for Easter Sunday with sunshine and temps in the upper 60s to maybe even lower 70s. So start to plan now for the possibility of some severe storms in the area Friday afternoon into the overnight hours Saturday morning and also start to plan at least mentally for the possibility of strong winds in the region on Saturday which could impact opening day on the bay for rockfish. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DC MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. Join Anne Arundel Medical Center Foundation on Saturday, April 27, 2019 at our Denim and Diamonds Bash in Annapolis. Denim and Diamonds is a fun evening under the stars featuring fabulous cuisine and gourmet food trucks, live and silent auction, and a live band. Last year, AAMC cared for more than 2,000 patients in our emergency departments suffering from mental illness or addiction. Help us expand much-needed inpatient and outpatient programs and services for your community. For tickets and sponsors, Sponsorships, visit aamcdenimanddiamonds.org. Special thanks to our platinum sponsors, AAMC Medical Staff, the Chesapeake Bayhawks, Comcast, the Evan K. Thallenberg family, What's Up Media, and WRNR. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Makers Minute, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Saturday down at London Town Gardens, they're having their spring plant sale. Their annual plant sale returns featuring an emphasis on plants found in London Town's horticultural collections. Also, don't forget that all through April, London Town Gardens is running their Escape London Town Ferguson Tavern Escape Room. This week at Art Farm in Annapolis, at their new location off of Chickapin Round Road, Sunday is the Clown School at Art Farm. And there's still a few more classes left in their spring session. Thursdays, they have cartooning for ages 11 through 15. Mondays, they have sketchbooking for ages 11 through 15. Tuesdays, they have art discovery for ages 5 through 7. 
and Wednesdays they have mixed media art for ages 8 through 11. At the Clay Bakers in Annapolis this week, there's a few spring fling workshops for kids. Ages 6 through 13 should check out today's hand-building clay workshop featuring elephant vases, tomorrow's glass fusing workshop making a spring flower bowl, or Monday's canvas workshop making a boots bouquet. And for adults, tomorrow they're doing a glass enamel painting class making April flowers at the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week. Today at the Annapolis branch, at their temporary location off of Capitol Drive, is Lego Imagination Station. Saturday at Mountain Road is Building with Minecraft. Saturday at Odenton is Build and Play with Legos. And Saturday at Crofton is Celebrating Earth Day. Join local Master Watershed stewards for fun activities for the whole family, including story time, games, arts and crafts, water explorations, and the interactive murder mystery, Who Killed Rocky Rockfish? This week at the Pongo's Learning Lab and Coder Kids Club in Crofton, weekdays they're running a little scientist club for ages 3 through 6. Kids explore chemistry, physics, biology, earth science, and more. And of course they have their regular weekday clubs. Tonight is their Thursday Night Robotics Club. Tomorrow is their Friday Night Gamer Club. Monday is Lego Club. Tuesday is Coder Kids Club as well as Chess Club. Wednesday morning there's a Preschool Robotics Club. And later Wednesday there's the YouTube Stars and Animators Club. At Annapolis Makerspace this week, tomorrow night we have our monthly analog gaming night. Come out and check out some fun and unique board and card games. Bring your favorite or play what we bring. And a reminder that woodworking night has changed to Wednesdays, so come on out Wednesday and make some sawdust. And as always, Thursdays are our electronics night. Come and check out what some of our members and friends are working on with electronics, microcontrollers, and single board computers like Raspberry Pis. As always, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Meetup to keep up on everything that we're doing. And you can catch me tonight and every Thursday night at Annapolis Makerspace on Renard Court for electronics night. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.